Hello students, welcome back to your English grammar class. How are you? Are you revising your lesson? I hope you do. Just to remind you, we are still studying the eight parts of speech. We have completed five of them. Let us remember what we have learned. We have learned that nouns are naming words. Pronouns are words used in place of nouns. Adjectives are describing words. Verbs are action or doing words. Adverbs are words that add to the meanings of verbs. Keep repeating these definitions as repetitions help in memorization. This lesson is on pages 11 and 12 for those who are using the old book but I think most of you are using the new ones. It is on pages 7 and 8 in your new book. We have also completed the exercise number 1 on page 9. Can you guess what is today's lesson? Let me give you a hint. Do you remember the pussycat pussycat rhyme that you learned when you were in play school? Pussycat pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Pussycat pussycat, what did you do there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. Wasn't that nice? Do you want to go at it again? Okay, let's do it. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you do there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. So now can you guess today's topic? Yes, today's topic is preposition. Again, please repeat after me. Preposition. It is a big word, so getting the pronunciation right and getting the spellings correct is also very important. Let us spell it out together. P-R-E-P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N Preposition Again, P-R-E-P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N Preposition So what is preposition in English grammar? In English grammar, preposition is a word placed before a noun or a pronoun to show its relation to other words in a sentence. Again, let us repeat that. In English grammar, preposition is a word placed before a noun or pronoun to show its relation to other words in a sentence. To help you understand this lesson more, let us study the following pictures together. There you can see the table and a cat. So what can you say about this picture? You can say that the cat is under the table. So the word under there is a preposition. It shows the relation or the position of the cat with regards to the table. Picture number two. Oh, the cat now is somewhere else. Can you tell me where is the cat now? The cat is on the table. On is the preposition there. Picture number three. The cat now got down from the table. So where is the cat now? 
The cat is next to the table. Let us see. This cat is very active. It is not sitting in one place. Now the cat has gone away. What can you say about this picture? Yes, the cat is away from the table. Let us see the next picture. What can you see here? Yes, the river is flowing under the bridge, not over the bridge, but under the bridge. So the river is flowing under the bridge. Let us learn more prepositions. On, under, in, near, to, upon, above, by, with, for, at, between, across, upon, etc. Let us read them together again. On, under, in, near, to, upon, above, by, with, for, at, between, across, upon, etc. There are more prepositions. Please take interest to learn them more. Till next class, thank you and keep smiling.